the bill that seeks to remove minimum wage from the exclusive list to the concurrent list of the 1919 Constitution has been sponsored by Honorable Garba Dati Mohammed is unhelpful, is uninformed and diversionary. I would like to use this opportunity to say that this sponsor bill shows the disconnect between our elected representatives and some governors are the people they claim to represent. After 21 years of uninterrupted democracy, it is clearly unacceptable that some operators of this constitution, they are not sufficiently knowledgeable enough to know that the critical factors of production and development like labor, capital, and land, they are ex exclusively <laughs> on the executive list of this constitution. So I'm saying that I'm completely surprised that some of our legislators, they are not sufficiently briefed about the spirit and content of the constitution that says that in a federation there must be minimum standard that brings all of us together. Just like there are minimum standards for the welfare of our legislators. Honorable uh, Dati Garba Dati is not paid according to the money that comes from Sabongeri Federal Constituency. If you have to pay him according to the money generated in Sabongeri Constituency, he may be collecting palliative, not even salary. He's paid according to the minimum standard payment for all federal legislators. It's not paid based, I mean, if we have to base it based on what each state contributes, certainly it won't be among the 10 leading best paid. Rivers will get better paid legislators. Uh, Delta we get, because these are oil producing states, where 80% of our revenue comes from. But because it's a federation, once you're a federal legislator, you have the same federal pay and benefits. What is good for legislators is even more desirable for the workers. So I want to advise that 21 years after our democratic process, I think it's important that our elected representatives, senators, and governors should reconnect back to their constituency. And that we start with for the, uh, that we start with sufficient knowledge of the constitution under which they took the hold. The constitution emphasizes balance, even development, in which weight will not be concentrated in the hands of the few. And it also emphasizes that public welfare, health and safety, living wages will be guaranteed for Nigerian workers. So Labor, as I want to say, is on the exclusive list of the Constitution. And let me also use this opportunity to commend President Mohamed Buhari for keeping to the legacy of his predecessors in making sure that minimum wage is improved upon from 18,000 ITA to under President uh, Good Lord Jonathan to 30,000. I find it very disgraceful today that some governors, 40 years after the first minimum wage, will shamelessly 
be talking of lowering the minimum federal minimum when they should be thinking of increasing the federal minimum now i'm disappointed that 40 years after some governors can shamelessly take pride to say they can't pay the federal minimum when they should be making a case to pay more than the federal minimum today's minimum wage of 30,000 any extra you want to use is just about 65 dollars per month which means a worker in 1981 Nigeria was earning twice that we're earning today and I was checking the national budget of Nigeria in 1980-81 both the recurrent and the capital expenditure under Shagari they were less than 20 million naira. now we are talking of 13.9 trillion naira budget we are talking of series of payments through the federal uh, allocation uh, committee that goes to the state we are talking of bill out, bill out one bill out two that have been given to state governors and here these governors some of them who are known for chartering flights as if they are chartering uh, okada i say shamelessly they wouldn't want to pay the work i think it shows how governance has gone so low but let me advise that the real test for this democratic process is about the way we address the issue of employment, decent employment, the way we fight against poverty. And the real test to real asset test for a democratic process is the way we reward the working men and women. Thank <music> you.